Hello everyone and welcome back to another KSP video. And it's here, the long-awaited SSTO version 2. I am really proud of this design actually, and it doesn't use the runway because, well, using the runway is, well, not fun. And uh, anyway, we are now just rocketing into the air as rockets usually do. Shout out to Crack Kerbal Content and Wild Potatoes for commenting on the last video. And just, I really appreciate comments in general because it allows me to have an idea of what, what parts of the videos you like and you don't like. So I can improve the one, so I can improve my videos overall. And, uh, yeah, we're, that's the comsat that we are launching. And it's just a simple Kerbin orbit, it's nothing special. It's, uh, but it uses a single rocket engine in a single stage to put a, a comsat into orbit, and it's also fully reusable. So, yeah. And this is like my fourth attempt at recording this because I keep messing up and, or background music, not music, but background noise. And, uh, yeah, here we are getting our orbit. And, uh, there it is, we have our orbit, and uh, yeah, our periapsis is on the day side as I prefer, because, well, it's just easier to make videos with things deorbiting or orbiting themselves at the day side or landing, or, you know. So there we deployed the commsat, it has huge solar panels, and now we are fast forwarding, or, you know. I forgot, time warping, yes. And uh, those little solar panels will burn off upon re-entry, but they are replaceable, they're really easy to replace, and uh, plus, it, it, they're only there to revive the spacecraft upon getting to periapsis so that it can deorbit itself. Because I forgot to put batteries on it, and instead of putting batteries on it, I thought that this would be a good solution. And here we are entering the atmosphere, and at this moment, I realized that the fins would make it turn over and almost cra and certainly crash into the, to the surface, which means that now I'm changing the altitude deploy of the drogue chutes. And like, yeah, we have prepared the craft for re-entry, everything is set, and cure re-entry in three, two, one. We have entered the atmosphere. Now the craft is going to start heating up, and there we go. And yeah, so there you can see the solar panels burning off. And uh, yep, I don't really have much to say. I mean, it's just a standard curb and re-entry. There, the solar panels have broken off. And now is about the time that the spacecraft is going to start flipping over. There it is! It flipped over. And now it's trying to correct itself, doing all the stuff. There we're slowing down. I use the engines to try to slow ourselves down. We speed up and then... The drogue shoots deploy and save the entire craft from it becoming some sort of prototype weapon. And there it is. We are now going to have a splashdown, surprisingly near the Kerbal Space Center, or two, and uh, yeah, there it is. And uh, yeah, pretty much. And now we have a uh, splashdown in just a few seconds. There, we have a splashdown, and bap, there it is. We have splashed down on Kerbin with a fully reusable SSTO. Now we are recovering the vessel, and I, I guess you're going to start hearing the outro music soon. Um, I just wanted to tell you to, uh, well, please consider subscribing. Uh, and also just, yeah, like the video because it actually helps me know if you like the content. And comment if you like or don't like some a specific part of the video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.